Alrighty legends, welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the series. So, what I'm going to be driving today is the 2007 Alfa Romeo 8C Competizione Mozzarella Edition. Um, no, I'm joking, it's a Forza Edition. If, uh, yeah, you'll understand the reference if I... Uh, if, you, if you've if you checked the previous video on the normal HC. So, interesting thing, quickly, uh, this is an S855. I've reset its stats to default. Um, yeah, so, and the tuning as well, so it's completely stock. Um, and so, this is an S1855 rear wheel drive. And so, let's have a look if we compare it to the vanilla um, HC. It's an A777 class, so this one is quite a bit quicker, supposedly. We'll see. Hmm. So let's do the test and figure out if it is, in fact, faster. Because we are pushing the boundaries of the vehicles a bit, you know. Taking, You can see this one's got slicks. It looks like it's got slick tires on it. I don't think it's going to do very well off-road, so it might actually be slower. But that's what we're trying to do here, is to test these vehicles and see which ones are actually faster um, yeah so here we go same settings as always it's got that snarl that the normal one has as well but definitely struggles on the wet tarmac oh yeah it's definitely a little bit uh, heavy on the turning on the tarmac. I think that will definitely improve at higher speeds and also with a spoiler and a, uh, a wing at the back. Um, oh, it's fast. It's really cool. And prob probably if you um, stick different tires on it like the Forza Edition tires then yeah, it'll be good. It's actually surprisingly good on. Um, it's surprisingly good on the on the dirt. Sorry, I just got distracted by those um, ribbons. But it, yeah, it, I am struggling to actually keep this thing on the road in a straight line. Struggling to get past this dodge. <laughs> Trying to dodge it. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty, so interior view. Very nice. Ooh, yeah, it's a little bit scary to control. Loving the sound. It's awesome. a little bit too much it feels like it's gonna lose control so you have to be very careful yeah Ooh. yeah no I could have done better there just slack off kind of early before those hectic turns hey Ford is in my way. Merry Christmas. Nice. <laughs> nice skin on that vehicle. Very suited for the time. I'm recording this video before Christmas, so it's like, uh, okay, thank you. Alright, cool. So there we go. Uh, it's good. But yeah, 254.1 for total time. If you guys prefer looking at the best lap times, that's probably more accurate, you know, since I sometimes stuff up the laps. So, but anyway, you guys know. So, there you go. On to the next test. I think this is going to be interesting. It's always interesting, for me at least. So, 
hopefully it's interesting for you as well. Okay, here we go. I quite like the mozzarella edition. It looks nice. But I think the color on the the normal HC is better. That deep red. It's more suited for an alpha, I think. And here we go. Yeah, no, the slicks not great for this. So that's something to be aware of for the new players. Get dirt tires if you're gonna do cross country. You can see as soon as we hit the tarmac, it's like, oh yes, grip, and then we go off the road. Man, yeah, no, this thing's not fantastic. You can see every time when I add power, it just basically wants to spin. Let's see, even in third gear at this relatively low speed for third. There we go. Yo, but to keep it straight, eh? Sheesh. It is a fast car, though. Like you can see, it wants to really go. Slides on these tires. No. The suspension is very stiff, as you can see, it's bouncing. There we go, skipping across the road. I mean, not the road, <laughs> skipping across the ground. Like that, it's full. Oh, you oh, threw the stone there. <laughs> Check that dodge darting away. <laughs> it's usually fun. Whoa, my forward almost flipped. There we go. Come on. Ah, oh, that ball. Yes. So, yeah, there you have it. It's not exactly designed for this kind of terrain. <laughs> Especially with those tires, it will do better on with with dirt tires. But yeah, you know, you'd need to upgrade the suspension as well, and maybe just make it all-wheel drive. It the steering might suffer a little bit, but it's a good car um, on the correct type of road like this um, that's in front of us now. So let's quickly test it on the drag strip. Yeah, alrighty. 
here we go. The Yagar Nought. Oopsie. Now let's see how it does compared to the vanilla 8C. I think it will be faster if it can gain good traction at the start, which is difficult for the slick tires in wet. But on dry, yeah, it's gonna fly, that's for sure. Haha, <laughs> dry and fly. Let's see what I mean. Yeah, definitely feels better on this type of road. But look, there's another mozzarella on the right hand side. Let's see if we can fly past these guys. Ooh. Yeah, that's okay. There you have it. One minute and one second. So it's still two seconds slower than the the Akura in his X. Very interesting. I mean, the Akura had all-wheel drive, and it was also still relatively. Powerful, so alrighty. So, will it drift? Let's see. I see that's where those slick tires make it a little bit difficult. You think you can see it like the road is dry. If it was wet, yeah, then it would have drifted much easier. But these slick tires have got very good grip on dry roads. So and also, again, like the, the normal um, HC, I think it's just a little bit underpowered for this kind of drifting. But then again, I think the problem here is really the tires, so it's not exactly made for drifting. And there you have it, guys. Hope that made sense. Um, please like and subscribe if you think it was a vibe. Um, comment below what your thoughts are. Be super interested to hear. And um, yeah, see you in the next video. Peace, guys.